<laughs> wow, hey Jose, how's it going? Hey, hello everyone, it's me, Isaac. Welcome back to Pajama Prayers. It's so good to see you guys with us. You know, the Bible says this amazing thing that Jesus promises to give us peace and rest. Oh. I can't think of a better way of going to bed than by being still in God's presence, but also praying together. And that's just what we're going to do right now. Do you remember how we do that, Jose? That's right. We close our eyes, we bow our heads, and then I speak over us. Now remember, guys, whenever I say the words, thank you, God, that you are, you guys back at home say, good. That's right, because God really is good. And what's great is that we get the chance to tell him how amazing he really is. Now remember, as we're praying together, talk to God, not just in your mind, but also in your heart as well. Let's do that together, okay? Everybody with their eyes closed and heads bowed. Think of something that makes you feel really, really happy today. Thank you, God, that you are good. Well done, guys. You know, I think we should do that again, don't you, Jose? Okay, everybody with their eyes closed. Think about something that's made you feel really sad today. Thank you, God, that you are good. Good! Well done, guys. You know what? Let's do that one last time. Everybody with their eyes closed. Now think about something you want God to give you. Thank you, God, that you are good wow fantastic guys give yourselves a pat on the back that was great you know what you can open your eyes too because it's time for our story together now you know last week we were looking about how good god is and isn't it amazing to think about that well we're gonna do another story together and i always bring something odd and new and interesting into the room so can you guys at home spot anything that's new or different in this place what about you jose can you see anything what is it i think jose spotted something have you guys at home seen something that's new and interesting oh yeah this over here now this is a curious object isn't it wow what do you think it is Gosh, hey, it looks like there's a button here too, Jose. Should I press it? All right, let's have a little look. Ooh, ooh, have a little smell of this. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? it smells great. Mmm, it looks like a perfume. Maybe this is stuff that you can spray on yourself to smell really, really nice. Gosh, it smells really beautiful. You know, it reminds me of today's story because Jesus smelt some perfume too. And he had a very interesting response, just like you and I have in this moment. Do you want to hear about it, Jose? Okay, well, I'm going to need my trusty Bible to help us with this story. And here it is. Okay, ah, here we are. Now, this story takes place many, many, many years ago. And it was when Jesus was on the earth and he was hanging out with one of his best friends. And this is how the story goes. Six days before a big feast, Jesus went to one of his friends called Lazarus. And there they had a dinner for Jesus. Now, Martha had served the food. Lazarus was the one of the people that were eating with Jesus. Mary brought in a pint of very expensive, expensive perfume made from pure nard. Now she poured the perfume on Jesus' feet and then she wiped his feet with her hair and the sweet smell from the perfume filled the whole house. 
Judas, he was one of Jesus' friends. He was the one who would later turn against Jesus. He said, this perfume was worth an entire year's wages. I mean, it should have been sold and given to the poor. The amount of money that could have been made from this. You know, Judas didn't actually care about the poor. He just said that because he was actually a thief. And he was the one who kept the money box and he often stole money from it, actually. Jesus instead said this, leave her alone. It was right for her to save this perfume for today, the day for me to be prepared for burial. The poor will always be with you, but you will not always have me. Wow, wow, what an interesting story. Gosh, it sounded like Jesus was really, really grateful for what Mary did in pouring that expensive perfume. Isn't that incredible? In fact, it makes me think about what Jesus values in the things that we say to him and the things that we give him. What do you think, Jose? You know, I think there's a lot in this story to talk about. So we want to give you guys time at home to talk. It could be about anything in this passage. It could be about things that were maybe odd or a little bit confusing. It could even be about something that is really, really cool. You know what? I think it would be even better if you could type it up on the chat box. We would love to hear what you think. But for now, Jose, you up for a chat? All right. See you guys soon. <laughs> wow, that was great, wasn't it? Oh, gosh, I love perfumes, Jose. Really great. There you go. Mm. Smelling really good now. Ah, oh, hello, everyone. Welcome back. Wasn't that fun? Wow, what did you think, Jose? Wasn't that great? You know, I was thinking, Jesus really, really was grateful for what Mary did in, in giving him the most expensive perfume ever. And it makes me think that maybe the things that we give Jesus, like our songs and our thanks and all the good things, even just saying hello to God, I wonder if that's as precious to him too. What do you think, Jose? You know, I want us to sing a song together and it's really, really fun and it's one that we've done before and it's called He's Got the Whole World in His Hands because when we sing to God, it's just like Mary's perfume. It, it's like a smell, a, a sweet fragrance that goes up and Jesus smells it and loves it. And so join in with this song if you can. It's really, really simple for the actions, okay? It's He's Got 
the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. It's really, really simple. And what's great about the song is you can sing it at any point in the day. You can sing it when you wake up in the morning, before you go to bed, over breakfast and dinner. It's just such a fun one to sing along to. Are you ready for this, Jose? Well, me too. And it's really, really simple. So when I say actions, guys, I want everyone joining in. Here we go. You ready? Actions! He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Well done, guys. Let's do that again. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Well done, guys. Let's do that again. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Wow. Amazing. Wasn't that great? Give yourselves a big pat on the back, guys, because that was really fun. And you know, when I really think about it, God really does have the whole world in his hands, no matter what's going on. And I think sometimes all he wants from us is just that moment where we say hi. Thank you, God, because you really do have everything under control. You know, I think the best thing we can do is to pray. So, Jose, how do we do that? Yeah, that's right. We raise our hands just like this. We bow our heads and then I pray over us. Let's do that now. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray. And in your great mercy, keep us safe tonight. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. In your name. Amen. Wow. Well done, guys. We've had such a great time, haven't we, Jose? And you know what? It's not over yet. We are going to be back at the same time tomorrow at 5 p.m. So tune in and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Tell all your friends about it because we want to share the love of God to everyone. And we can't wait to see you tomorrow. But from Jose and myself, have a great evening, guys, and good night. Bye, everyone.